Hello guys, Navneet here, back with another fragrance review. Today's video is not actually a review, but more of a buying guide for people who want to try a brand. Now, this brand is Arnott Perfumes. Arnott Perfumes is a brand established in 2018, and they have been operating in Gurgaon right now. And I have with me today four fragrances from their brand, and I thought, why not make a buying guide for people who want to know which fragrance is for what purpose. So, the discovery set, you can say, is four fragrances, 10 ml each. So, let's dive right into the buying guide after this intro. So before we start the review, I just want to show you the box. So the top of the box, you can see the discovery set and uh, four perfumes, 10 ml each. And uh, this is an Eau de Parfum concentration. So that is again good. The brand is established in 2018 and they are based in Gurgaon. Uh, next in the side of the box, you can see there is all the notes of the fragrance. So each fragrance has their notes. Uh, Tuscany Brunch, Aqua Cordelia, Oud Kashmir and November. And uh, the collection of iconic fragrances inside. So this is the iconic fragrances collection. Apart from that, you can see the boxing and the packaging is all good. At the bottom of the box, you can see where this is manufactured from and the cost of the fragrance. So the cost of the fragrance is uh, 1999 and uh, there's some discount on the website, I think so. And uh, the fragrance, uh, everything, how to use the fragrance, caution and all of this, same industry standard they have maintained. Let me open the box and see what the iconic collection has to offer us. And uh, the buying guide is, I'm making this buying guide basically because I think that uh, no one else has talked about this brand yet. And I think that this brand is actually good because they are trying to do something good in India. Uh, the fragrances are actually good and I like the fragrances. The presentation of the box is actually very pleasing. So if you are, uh, if you like minimalism and if you like something more, uh, let's say, uh, sophisticated so this is very sophisticated you can see from the box first fragrance on the list is aqua cordelia now aqua cordelia is supposed to be uh, from from for me this is more of a summer fresh kind of fragrance so as the name suggests aqua cordelia so this is more of an aquatic notes so let's look let's look at the notes of the fragrance and for that we don't have to search this time we can actually look at the notes of the fragrance because it is mentioned in the box so the fragrance are pineapple iris lemon rose and vetiver so uh, with the start of the fragrance there is a lot of hint of pineapple absolutely yes and uh, the nozzle and the box is good this is actually a screw on bottle and uh, the scent profile of the fragrance is actually very good that is because and only because this fragrance has a lot of excessive use of iris the smell of iris would actually mean that if you pass by maybe maybe new york or let's say mac stores you will see there is some amount of uh, a very very beautiful scent out there and that scent is actually iris because most of the cosmetic products in the industry use iris and uh, women cosmetic so this could be a unisex fragrance for summers according to me and uh, the last thing of the production of the fragrance is good again production is de decent in winters summers i think this can give a production of six uh, feet and uh, up but right now this is not giving a very heavy production maybe that's because we are wearing it in winters so this is the first fragrance longevity again guys the longevity of the fragrance is good get a longevity of five to six hours Moving on to the second fragrance in the list. The second fragrance should be something which is winter friendly and uh, I think that that should be Oud Kashmir. Now Oud Kashmir, I always uh, have talked in favor of Oud based fragrances and uh, Oud Kashmir is another fragrance which uh, is actually made for winters and uh, on the side you can see this is actually the best selling fragrance. That is because the scent profile of the fragrance is actually good. If you look at the fragrance, you will understand that this is not a very simple Oud fragrance unlike many brands which make Oud. Uh, what the notes of the fragrance is, is saffron, Oud, caramel, perline and amber. So I think uh, Oud and caramel are the most dominating notes. Apart from that, there are subtle hints of saffron and the supporting notes are of amber. So amber is a supporting note in this fragrance and uh, maybe that's the base of the fragrance but the top notes of the fragrance you can feel a lot of oud rushing into you so winter friendly fragrance again oud cashmere guys uh, longitude of fragrance is again good so longitude of fragrance i think that this actually gives a longevity of seven hours in winter so winter friendly fragrance production of fragrance again deadly so this is actually the beast fragrance in all of these four all of these are good but uh, the beast fragrance in this would be oud cashmere so I basically wanted to make this buying guide because of Oud Kashmir because Oud Kashmir is a fragrance which I actually love because uh, I have been applying this and all of, all of you can see I've used almost half of all of these fragrances so I have been applying it for the past week because a lot of testing has been done and uh, after all of that I can say that Oud Kashmir has to be my personal favorite because I love Oud based fragrances true that but still this is a good fragrance longevity is also good and production also good so all thumbs up to the fragrance Oud Kashmir. 
moving on to something more floral something more i think would be on the feminine side but still a lot of men prefer floral fragrances so you never know smell is supposed to be a subjective thing and uh, with that let's talk about aronauts november let's look at the notes of the november before we dive into the fragrance the notes of the fragrance are pear caramel jasmine coffee and vanilla uh, for me this is basically a lot of jasmine a lot of pear and there is vanilla in the base and uh, caramel and coffee are the supporting notes in this fragrance so this is actually more on a feminine side what i perhaps think and uh, this could be a new sex fragrance because a lot of men actually prefer floral fragrances keeping that in mind i think that this could be one good fragrance if you want it for something of a very vibrant kind of occasion so if you are going for an evening walk or uh, if you are going for yoga let's say in the morning so this is a fragrance which you would like to apply because this actually brightens up the day very fresh very floral at the same time i like the use of pear in this fragrance so pear is actually something of a compliment to the floral notes of jasmine and because of that this fragrance becomes actually beautiful so all of these fragrances are actually good let's talk about the longevity of november now november is actually an autumn based fragrance you can say an autumn spring based fragrance and uh, the longevity of the fragrance is actually good in winters as well because floral fragrances tend to perform good in colder climates as well as warmer climates this is actually an all round the year kind of fragrance you can say and uh, in winters you get a longevity of 5 to 6 hours and in summers you get a longevity of 5 to 6 hours again so november has a beautiful projection and i like this fragrance but keeping that this is not a fragrance for me basically because this is more of a feminine touch for me i don't like floral fragrances much and to prefer more fresh fragrances so if you're looking for a fresh fragrance you have to go with aqua cordelia if you're looking for something more luxurious something of a more woody blend and something you want something some people to notice you so you can go for oud kashmir because this actually has notes of saffron and i think that a lot of you will actually like these notes because indian men tend to like fragrances which have saffron and oud in that and uh, that that brings us to the last fragrance and this fragrance is actually you can say the signature fragrance of their brand and uh, If I had to buy one fragrance from the lot I would definitely buy Oud Kashmir but the second fragrance would actually be Tuscany Brunch now Tuscany Brunch is supposed to be a very mysterious kind of fragrance and why mysterious what I mean is the notes of the fragrance are actually very complicated unlike the other fragrance uh, the other fragrances in the brand this one is actually a bit more sophisticated let's look at the notes of the fragrance before we talk anything about the fragrance the notes of the fragrance is lychee rose ginger bergamot and patchouli so what bergamot brings into this fragrance is a lot of citrus notes but at the same time i think that lychee somehow lychee and rose notes tend to balance it out so it turns out to be a very beautiful concoction very strong i think at times and uh, the name of the fragrance is actually very good i like it for first thoughts when i was buying this fragrance i had a thought that this would actually be similar to tuscan leather from tom ford but it turned out to be very different but i love the fragrance all of these fragrances are good i have to say that uh, this brand is actually trying to give you something more premium unlike many brands who actually are not not trying to do something innovative they have actually done something innovative i like the box design and all of this is actually very good and uh, when i got the fragrances i was actually uh, i actually like the idea of their brand and the brand idea is that they are trying to bring something niche something let's say uh, top notch to the indian crowd a lot of indians these days are looking for uh, these sophisticated fragrances a little more information on all these fragrances let's start with the uh, aqua cordelia for starters so aqua cordelia is a fragrance i think this fragrance is in the fresh category i think a lot of teenagers would like this fragrance very fresh office fra- friendly fragrance so if you are carrying this fragrance uh, i think that you can reapply it throughout the day five sprays are more than enough and uh, 10 sprays on a very special occasion so this is actually an office fragrance fresh fragrance summer based fragrance for teenagers i think the age range for this fragrance would be 20 to 25 but let me not put that into your mind because at the end of the day it is you who decides which fragrance you want let's talk about the other fragrance that is tuscany brunch now tuscany brunch is a fragrance which i would think is actually the name of this is brunch so brunch friendly if you're going for an office dinner let's say if you're going for an office brunch if you're going for more of an evening date kind of fragrance so this is actually very suitable for that because it has some mysterious touch as i already said this has some amount of uh, seductive notes in this so this is actually con- one of the best fragrances from the lot and uh, i love this because this actually can get you a lot of compliments this is the compliment getter of the lot let's move on to oud kashmir now oud kashmir is a fragrance which is more for people who like more sophisticated more warm rich fragrance so if you're looking for a rich warm feel maybe let's say a middle eastern feel if you want to feel premium plush 
go with Ud Kashmir. Ud Kashmir would be basically for the age range of 25 and above. But nowadays, I see that a lot of youngsters are also using Ud based fragrances, which I actually like. I I appreciate that because Ud based fragrances should be applied from a very young age because Ud is actually one of the finest materials. Because when you talk about fresh fragrances, there's a lot of use of bergamot and all these notes, but these notes are actually very very super cheap the notes of oud are actually very expensive so if you have a good expensive taste you will you can definitely go for oud kashmir and uh, this would actually be very suitable for let's say a good dinner with friends and family and uh, for me i think that this will be more suitable for an evening date sort of thing and where you are wearing something more black so something darker this is actually the darkest of the lot and uh, the last but not the least is a floral fresh fragrance only and only when you are going for picnics so maybe you are going for a office picnic family picnic maybe you are actually in mood for a lazy afternoon and lazy afternoon kind of fragrances this one is and i must say that this fragrance will actually make you feel more relaxed more calm i think that uh, friend fragrances in general have a lot of uh, effect on the mood and uh, no november is one mood lightener so if you want to lighten up the mood of the room and if you want if, if this fragrance could actually be applied before bedtime because this fragrance is actually very calming in nature at the end of the day it's your decision absolutely but this fragrance is a bit on the feminine side and i think that this fragrance would be liked by let's say people who have more connection with floral fragrances so if you like floral fragrances fresh fragrances at the same time floral you should go with november and uh, november is a fragrance for all age range as i said already and uh, this fragrance can be actually used by any person men women this is actually unisex fragrance you can use it all the year around and uh, this fragrance is actually when it this fragrance should be used when you have the mood of a more floral calming fragrance that was about the brand aeronaut so i just wanted to make a buying guys so that all of you know what fragrances you are getting into and it is very important because at times it becomes very difficult for me even when you have a lot of fragrances a brand has a lot of fragrances to offer and you do not know which fragrance is good for you so signing off navneet i hope all of you like this buying guide also if you like the channel do subscribe and uh, if you have any doubts still i'll be more than happy to help you in the comment section down below feel free to ask your doubts I'll be more than happy to entertain your questions and uh, signing off navneet i hope all of you have a good day ahead